Hello everyone, thanks for listening. My name is Marin and I'm doing my PhD in the Schilling's lab at the Institute for Surgical Pathology in Freiburg, Germany. Today I'd like to present a project about peptide mass spectrometry imaging of pancreatic cancers. They can be divided into the prevalent group of exerine tumors that arise from cells that produce the digestive enzymes. The most common subtype are the pancreatic ductal adenocarcinomas, short PDOC. On the other hand, we have the rather rare endocrine tumors that arise from cells that produce the hormones. We use so-called tissue microarrays where small biopsy cores are assembled on one glass slide so that 25 to 50 samples can be processed at the same time. Using a work plan for peptide imaging, we measured 13 TMAs in the the top imaging device and got 100,000 of spectra. One such spectrum represents the peptide distribution of each individual pixel of one such tissue core. And from this spectra, we can then generate the seed maps that show the intensity distribution for a specific mass. So in general, we have a quite complex data set. The aim of the study is to generate a classifier to identify PDOC and to distinguish PDOC from other pancreatic cancers. The latter group is very diverse and consists of all non-PDOC pancreatic cancers. Since the number of those cases is quite low, it's difficult to assemble a balanced cohort, which is a limitation to most pancreatic cancer studies in general. We'd also like to identify the most interesting MZ features, which are of course those that will be part of a classifier. And it's important to us to provide a complete and transparent data analysis workflow because that's still missing from the MSI community. The first step is the data pre-processing and kind of a reduction of the data that leads to from these spectra to spectra with peak peaks. A complete pre-processing workflow consists of several steps, like for example, a baseline removal and a smoothing or some peak detection steps, the removal of contaminants, and also intensive genomalizations. Of course, we recommend to check the data after each step with a quality control tool. After the pre-processing, we get spectra that are reduced to a couple of hundred of MZ features, here 743. And the final QC shows us as well that the mass shift is quite low in this data set, around 2 ppm, and also a typical peptide distribution that most MZ features lie on the MZ range between 500 and 1,500 MZ. With this pre-processed data, we can then go for the statistical analysis to build the classifier. We split the data set into a trained data set to build a classifier and a test data set to evaluate its prediction ability. We split the trained data set again for a cross-validation training to find the best parameter for the classifier algorithm. So in total, we use the classification tool three times, first to test a different parameter and identify the best ones, then again with the best parameter to build a classifier, and then again to test the classifier's performance on the test data set. And as you can see here, we also had the trouble of having an unbalanced cohort with a way higher number of PDA cases. Nevertheless, the classifier shows on its own trained data set it was built on an accuracy of around 90% and a sensitivity between 83 and 91%. It consists of 127 MZ features, 40 features defining the PDA, and 87 features defining the diverse group of all other pancreatic cancers. Evaluating the classifier's performance on the test data set, it achieved a lower accuracy of around 72% and a sensitivity between 77 and 70%. These results are still very good, and we have a couple of samples. We need to go back to the pathologist and ask them to recheck those cases. It's probably difficult for the algorithm to distinguish these two groups. We gave it because we have the PDOC on the one hand and the very diverse group on the other hand. Nevertheless, these are very nice results that are worth to be shared with the community and especially the most common group of PDOC show such a high lethality and it's difficult to subtype them correctly. So it might be worth to study the molecular histology of those tumors with the MSI. I'd also like to highlight the applicability of the MSI tools already available in Galaxy to such a huge data set. They consisted previously of around 400,000 spectra 
and 54,000 MZ features. So it's a huge benefit to us to have the opportunity to use Galaxy for this. And we want to share our experience by sharing the analysis workflows and also providing some training material on how to perform a complete analysis on a large clinical data set. And with this, I'd also like to thank my whole lab, so the whole Schilling group, the surgical pathology, and also the pathology interest.